Hello, welcome to Balgrey TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Ojuku General Chukemeka Odumegu Ojuku was born to the family of Sir Louis Philippe Odumegu Ojuku on November 4, 1933, in the small northern town of Zungeru, Nigeria. It is alright to say Ojuku was born with a silver spoon as his father was an asset businessman. Sir Louis was into transport business and he made a lot of money during the Second World War as he became one of the wealthiest businessmen in Nigeria before his passing away in 1966. Ojuku, who was only called Emeka, had his high school education at King's College, Lagos, one of the most prestigious secondary schools in the southwest Nigeria. At a very tender age, Emeka had a total disdain for unfairness and injustice. He got into trouble participating in the anti-colonial demonstration with his seniors like Anthony Enahoro. One of the reasons why at a tender age, Emeka was sent abroad to study at Ipsum College in England by his father. He was just 13. At 18, he left Ipsum for Lincoln College, Oxford. After his college, he gained admission into Oxford University, where he obtained bachelor's degree in modern history in 1956 before returning to Nigeria shortly after. Upon return to his fatherland, his father expected that he would join his transport business. But that was not the case as Emeka had his dreams and he joined the civil service as an administrative officer at Udi, what is known today as Enugu. He joined the civil service in 1956 and in 1957, he left the colonial civil service and joined the military. In the army, he was among the first few graduates, O. Olutoyi, E. A. Ifiajuna, C. O. Rotimi, and A. Ademoyega. Emeka joined the military as an infantry recruit against his father's wish because the colonial officers would not let him into the officer's course. But Emeka got his way and went on to undergo military training in Ghana and later in England. Ojuku did not have problems with moving up the ladder in the military. Thanks to his exceptional educational background, he became popular in the military. As, as 1956, the colonial Nigeria army had 250 officers and there were 6,400 other ranks, of which 336 were British. Ojuku first rise in the military saw him become the quartermaster general. He came into prominence when he was appointed governor of Eastern Region in 1966 by General Agui in Rusi. During that time, two military coups took place in 1966, one in January and the other in July. The July coup was a counter coup by another military factions and it was said to be an ethnic coup for majority of the victims were Igbos. Ojuku never lost faith in peaceful resolution of the crisis even though his people were killed by fellow citizens. He still wanted to trade on a peaceful path. First of all, he insisted that the military rank be respected and preserved, meaning Brigadier Ogundipe should take over, not Colonel Yakubu Gowon. But Ogundipe was made to step down and sent into Nigerian High Commission in London. General Joseph Ankara hosted a peaceful conference at Aburi, Ghana, on January 4, 1967, and the brilliance and resolutical prowess of Ujuku was on display throughout the peaceful talks. With his persuasive ability, he was able to convince his colleagues to sign a pact that came to be known as the Aburi Accord. Shortly after the conference, when the hope of making Nigeria once again seemed to be surfacing, Gowan later on the 27th of March of that same year divided the eastern region into three states. Three days later, on the 30th of March, Ojuku declared eastern region a sovereign state of Biafra and that led to the Nigerian civil war between 1967 and 1970. For 30 months, the war went on. It was said to be bloody. The pressure was too much and it was obvious that the federal government was winning. So Ojuku handed power over to his assistant, Major General Philippe F. Young, on the 9th of January 1970 and moved to Ivory Coast, where he was granted political asylum by the then president, Felix Hufeis Boynin, who recognized the Biafra Republic. After 13 years in exile, Sheo Shagari, the democratically elected president of Nigeria, granted General Ojuku presidential pardon and created a rouse for his return in 1982. Ojuku, his life after Biafra, played a pivotal role in Nigeria's return to democracy in 1999. He had contested as presidential candidates under his party, Abga. He remained the leader of the party until his death. On the 16th of November 2011, General Odumegu Ojuku died in the UK after a brief illness. He was survived by his beautiful wife, Bianca Ono, 
The Nigerian 1989 Miss Intercontinental Beauty Queen, his children and family members. Describe Jedi Ojuku in one word in the comment section. Please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.